Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Hump Day, Wednesday. In just a couple more hours, we'll be on the downhill side of this week. I want to welcome everybody to this morning. Appreciate it. Today is Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022. Sure appreciate everybody being here. Okay, so let's uh, uh, take a look at the market here. Um, uh, first, let's start with the weekly chart. Uh, the weekly chart, uh, we're still in a downtrend. Uh, sellers still have uh, control. Good morning, Blue. Hey, Ron, Chaz, JW, Mike, Doug. Good morning, Ron, Tom and Thomas, Paul. How's everybody? <laughs> um, so on the weekly chart, the sellers still have control. Uh, they, they're still winning the game. Bulls are trying to pick it up, but the downtrend is still there. We can connect this high with this high, move it down, and we're below that trend line. That puts the seller still in control. Um, I, I think what I want to consider here, too, is uh, my trend indicator. I follow that an awful lot. And the trend indicator, let's move some arrows in here. You can see here, let's do it from the bottom and make it smaller. There we go. Uh, the trend indicator is red. You see the dots. That's suggesting the sellers have, you know, control of the uh, maybe a shorter time frame versus that long downtrend. Well, right here, we've popped up green. Now, all this really tells me is that the buyers are trying to move it up, but it's just a bullish relief rally uh, in a bigger downtrend. And until we get price over this blue line right here, we're going to still be in that downtrend from a longer view, okay, longer term. So let's go to a shorter term, the daily. And if you look at the daily, uh, the bulls clearly, without question, are taking their turn here. So what we have to be careful of is... is which I, I don't, you know, I'm not going to be short when we're trending up. Now, here's where we might want to get short is when the sellers on the daily starts taking control. That's when we want to do it. Um, that's when I want to do it. Not necessarily we. We's got nothing to do with it. I don't have a mouse in my pocket. Uh, it's my plan. Uh, so I'm going to follow this until it's just not there anymore because we we've seen this time again and again and again and again where we've been in a long downtrend and the buyers chew their way through it i'm not saying that's for sure going to happen i can't predict the future other than i know friday comes after thursday that's about as far as i can go with it but what I can do is follow price. That I can do. I can follow the trend. So while we move into resistance, that could certainly be a reason for the sellers to uh, come on stronger. But as of right now, they have not. So I, I'm not going to assume just because we're at resistance that price is going to cave in to the dark side. Um, even when we move up to this downtrend line, that, that's that weekly downtrend that I put up there. Even when we move up there, I'm not going to cave into the dark side just because we're there. However, I'm certainly going to be a little more cautious with any long trades. Um, that's for sure. The higher we go, the more cautious I'll be, be because we're moving into some heavier resistance right here. So uh, I think the... Uh, I think the thing to do is follow the ball. What What is the ball doing? And follow the ball. It's, it's so simple, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, all right, let's look at some charts here. I've got uh, 11. Let's take a look at these. Uh, right, they're in no particular order. Somebody asked me that uh, yesterday, last night. It was an email here recently. When I look at uh, these stocks, are, are they any particular order? Like, do I like Riot better than Telray or Telray better than CVS? You know, because they're at the top. No, they're at the top um, because uh, they're. Th this is this the change they make. 
but they're at the top because I click this little arrow right here and it brings everything flagged to the top this this right here was was a full watch list that I started preparing yesterday and then today uh, this morning I went through it and then and, and then picked out what I thought were the ones that I want to look at and then added a few more in here so um, so no just because it's on the top doesn't mean it's like my favorite or anything like that hey good morning uh, my how are you all right let's t take a look at riot here <clears throat> excuse me morning frog you can see we've got a nice bullish trend right here uh, we've got a series of lows, highs, higher lows, higher highs. That's what you want in a trend. Hey, good morning, Julie. That, that's what you want in a trend right there. Absolutely. Uh, what I see as a possible target, which that's another thing. By no means, no stretch of the imagination um, is, you know, should anyone be locked into that. This is, this is, this area right here is is the playing field um, what, what I consider my playing field for my swing trading um, can riot go higher absolutely but that's not what I swing trade for I swing trade for these swings right here that swing this swing and you know, we can we can any swing to the upside we can we can look at that that's what I'm swinging for so right now I'm swinging for that doesn't mean I'm going to get in it right here, and it doesn't mean I'm going to get to the top. It's just the playing field, okay? So, what I've done here, um, the, so we've got a 57% playing field. Uh, I'm looking for an entry maybe around inside this black dark ring here, which of course, you know, if you enter high into this area here, or possibly even a slight little breakout, well, th there's not 57%. But at 57%, I don't feel like I have to, I have to get the very bottom at all. I can be patient and wait for price. As far as a stop goes, um, we we can talk this about this in the trading room today. Uh, but I can tell you now, it just it kind of works to. First of all, you've got to ask yourself why you like the chart. And honestly, the stop is is in that answer, and we'll talk about that today in the trading room. Uh, Tilray, we had some pot stocks pop up yesterday, so um, they might be kind of interesting for for the next few days. Uh, take Tilray here. Uh, looks like we're a little bit bullish this morning after yesterday's bullish engulf. After the low, the high, the higher low, we're over the 50 period moving average. Um, We'll call it 29% up to about 495. Um, I'd like to see an entry myself if I choose to buy it. Anything I look here, by the way, doesn't mean that I'm going to buy it. They just go on the watch list, and then then I go from there. Um, so anyway, I, I think right in here would be a reasonably good place. So it'd be 29% uh, swing minus whatever you lose on the entry. Because the 29% is from this bottom right here. Um, CVS, they reported. Uh, they're happy. They're cool. Um, we're good. The only thing I see in CVS, there's not a lot of, not a lot of room here to make money uh, for a swing. But I still like the chart. We'll put it out here. So I'm looking for an entry inside this black box and maybe the first swing up to 102 here. Now we can move up here like this. I mean, you know, you can put it on these tops. We're, you know, in this area right here. Uh, we can put another box in there. There you go. So, so now, close enough. So now there, there's a possible 10% move in CVX, CVS, excuse me, CVS. Uh, Marvel, Marvel's looking pretty good. You see, you see how that trend is working? That that's man. I think that I, I think that's that's sweet. I, I like that. You've got a low, a high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. We pull back, make a higher low, a little pop out of the box type chart pattern. Man, we're on our way to making another higher high. Um, I like that idea. I like the idea of maybe 
considering an area, a buy in this area right here with about 17.8% to maybe the first target up there. And there's other targets. Uh, this is just the swing target that I'm looking at right now. Um, a firm, AFRM, also <clears throat> showing uh, nice bullishness here. Nice little trend. There's the trend. Um, also, too, I, I like, and I've mentioned this, I haven't mentioned it today, and I don't know that I mentioned it too much yesterday, uh, but I know for the past couple weeks, I've really talked a lot about this 50-period moving average here. And that's because there's so many stocks near the 50 period moving average flirting with with just below it and flirting with just above it the market itself is flirting with that 50 period moving average so i really feel myself from my trading it, i'm better off if try not to get anything down here but look for things that have already made that move the bulls are interested uh, the trend is moving. The train has left that train station, and that's what I want. I don't. I don't want to. I. I. I, I mean, everybody wants the lower price. I want the lower price, but I've discovered that every time I try to pull something like that off, the train abruptly stops and runs over my toes. And I. And I honestly think most everybody else kind of same thing sort of happens too. Overall. Overall. So let's get that train running, and like a hobo, let's just jump on that train at the right time. So I'm looking for an entry in this area right here. Certainly wait for a breakout here. In fact, I have this red line because really we need to be over that red line or we're not going to get up here. So with a hundred, with a hundred and five percent possibility, do you think it's possible that just forget about it and wait till it moves over this area here. And that's one thing I'm considering. Uh, move up here, um, let the pattern set up, the entry pattern, and then maybe look at it. But then again, I like it right here, as long as you keep your stop in and you, you manage your trade uh, correctly. Uh, Rivian. Rivian, I'm looking at 33.5%. I like the idea of a buy in this area, which it looks like it's just pushing right at the, the upper edge there, which is fine. Uh, and there's nothing magic about this. I mean, I, when, when I put, when I put uh, um, actually, that's supposed to be down there. Uh, where is that? There, there we go. When I put this box in here, there's nothing super magic about it. You know, I'm looking at the price action here. That, that's what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at the price action. You know, if I, if I want to question that, well, I'll put another line right there like that. So I'm still looking for that entry, maybe even a slight little breakout. Slight little breakout. Uh, at 41%, I can afford a little bit of a breakout. Okay. Um, SQ. So I want to... I'm going to come down and take a look at PayPal first, okay? So PayPal is on the list today, and PayPal is working out and pretty happy here. Uh, had earnings. It's looking really good. I'm looking for an entry in this area with a 39, we'll call it 40% uh, playground up here, swing playground. I want to watch that 122.20 area because that's where uh, there might be a little resistance. So just want to keep our eyes on that. Um, so now let's go back to SQ. Um, SQ, I believe they have earnings tonight I, or tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Maybe. Yeah, it's tomorrow. All right. So I'm almost thinking, um, let's see how it acts today. I'm not real big on owning anything through earnings. I'm pretty much, pretty much, uh, against it. But I'm considering this one, and I want to see how PayPal acts today. I want to see how the market acts today. I want to see how this acts today. Uh, but there, there is a possibility. I, I look at a trade on SQ and hold through earnings. Um, 106.40, uh, down the road target. Uh, watch this 90 area right here. We've got resistance. This is where I'm looking to buy in this area right in here. Trending up very nice. So, Plug. Look at plug. Plug's moving up. So 
from down here to here, wherever this, wherever here is, 22.30 up here to 28.10, 27%. I like the entry in this area right here. We're over the dotted deuce. We're headed toward the 50 period moving average. This is an excellent uh, rounded bottom breakout. Uh, we already looked at PayPal. Let's look at CHPT. CHPT. Uh, you see we've got these lows, high, higher lows. Made a higher high, higher low. Bullish engulf yesterday and just a little inside day doji right now. With about 36% uh, for, the, for the swing area right in here. Um, entry right in this area here, which that's going to cut into that 36%. And then also I think we need to be very, very uh, mindful of the 17 and a quarter area. And you can see right through here that resistance right through there. So I think we should be pretty mindful of that. Hey, and the last one I have here is another one of these uh, pot type stocks. Um, look at that trend in this. Man. Now, now this has earnings on the fourth, so keep that keep that in mind. Uh, nice little trend here. We're over the 50-period moving average, lower highs. Uh, I'm sorry, higher lows, higher highs. Uh, nice pop to the upside um, yesterday, and here we are right at the top end of this candle. If this starts to pop up, I see this as a possible trade. 30% to the dotted deuce. This is a rounded bottom breakout as well. Um, and that's really all I have. So, um, yeah, uh, let's keep our eyes on the market. Keep, keep, your, keep your eyes straight, you know. Uh, pay attention to the charts. Pay attention to price. Cut your losses quick. Uh, if the chart's not working, get out of it. Just get out of it. You can always get back in it. So, um, anyway, everyone, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, I'm going to step away for a bit, and in about uh, 10 minutes or 20 minutes, we'll be back here uh, for the market open, and let's see what we can do today, okay? Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate it. We'll see you all in about 20. Take care.